Good morning, guys. Can you hear me? Okay, great, 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 great. Yep, you bet I did. You bet I did. Oh yeah, I caught some Twitch short yesterday. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I did. Oh, oh, with some big size. Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about it later. Oh, you bet I caught. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes, I did. I, 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 I did. Big time. Big time. Oh yeah. I I caught some Twix short yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yes I did. Uh I I was close to that. Yeah, I was close to that before the bounce. Yeah, at one point three. I, I, I was up one point five, one point six at one point. But then it had a bounce um a late day. I held some overnight, and then it gapped down, and now it's kind of grinding higher in pre-market. I'm gonna, sh yeah, yeah. It was about 1.3. Uh, well, it was 1.3 when I took a screenshot, but I was up at 1.5, 1.6 at one point. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you could, I could, I could see the decoupling. You could clearly see it when it when it started decoupling from the, from the indices. Like here, this is where I, I I was short some, like before. But here is when I started really really adding, because I saw like here 1245, like the spies, they were nowhere near their highs. Where is 1245? Here is 1245. They were nowhere near its highs, but TVIX started taking out the lows of the day, or was very close to lows of the day. And here, when it built this lower high, so I added some here. Here too, where is it? 145. <coughs> 145, where is it here? Like the spies, again, a spies were building lower highs on the five minute chart, and they were nowhere near the highs of the day. And Twix was also building lower highs, and I had a range break, this big multi-day range break. Th that's where I added some size, and it went down over 30% in like an hour or two. That was just, you could clearly see the relative weakness on Twix. That's the first time in two weeks. Like, I've looked at Twix chart for two weeks straight, okay? And that's the first time in two weeks that happened. That, that gave me some conviction. That gave me some big, big conviction. Unfortunately, I, I covered some in late pre-market here at 760s. I covered like a thousand shares here because I didn't want to deal with a $200 gap up. Uh, instead, we got a $200 gap down, but you know, I just wanted to get some sleep. Uh, yep, that, oh yeah, I have to tweet out I've had two one million dollar days this week. Just incredible volatility. 
let's see here. Oh man, there's so many things to trade. I don't even know where to start. Or there's so many things moving and gapping everywhere. And this thing had some news. Will I trade it? I don't know. It's up 70%. Rand, another one. Up like a hundred percent. Oh, this thing is super thin. This one I'm gonna ignore totally. I'll put it here. BLPH. Yeah, I got some BLPH borrows in case. I think it looks uh, intriguing. I do think it looks intriguing. <clears throat> Codex had a PR. Codex looks extremely good on the daily and 60 minute charts. Like extremely good. Xer had a. No, uh, let's I know. Saber. I also bought Tilray in my smallest account yesterday here in the th low 330s. It was up almost 45% in pre-market today. BMRA, I'm still holding short from yesterday. Covered some in pre-market. Well, I'm still short biased. Like, I think if Spice bounced back to like 250, 255 today, like say 250, I, you know, Twix is gonna go sub 500. I did some here, anticipated opening range lows a little bit. Probably gonna get stopped out. It's a very tight stop, so it doesn't matter. Uh, HDBX looks like I got stopped out from yesterday's long. Oh, BMRA, need to cover some here.
sold some tilray here. Uber is up almost seven, uh, 65 percent from the lows two days ago. I'm gonna start stocking this for potential short, maybe later today. I got stopped out of the starter on uh, on on. Uh, TVIX. <clears throat> I'll just put Uber in here so I can easily look at it. Uber is my main watch probably right now. BLPH halted. Yes, it is. You had like, yeah, like one minute to get in. I hate these fast stocks. They're so hard to trade. Just like APRN yesterday. TVIX. I'm gonna reshort if it takes out lows for the day. BMRA is halted. Looks like I lower my stop. I wouldn't be surprised if this TVIX goes to I don't know. Low, uh, low 400s or sub 400s if spies go to 250 today and there's really no resistance until 250 on the spies could very easily get there 255 even N not today or probably but i think there is some pretty big upside on it in the short term We'll see. <clears throat> Codex could be a short. 
potentially. If it breaks below this 1045-ish area, 1050, whatever it is. Ah, BLPH, man. Have to be so fast on these things. GSX is breaking out. What a strong stock. Incredible. Okay, BLPH look BLPH looks like it's bouncing. Maybe bounces into an upside halt. APRN. I guess it was a short opening range lows. This thing has so much downside. It could easily go down another 50% in the next few sessions. Markets are in the middle of a range right now. I have I can't really get a good read on it, but looks like we built another lower high, which isn't a good sign. TVIX is building higher lows on the 60 minute chart. These old trend lines are coming back into play.
I guess no one wants to hold over the weekend. We may not get a bo uh, bounce in the markets today at all. Uber is taking out lows for the day. No. Hmm. Damn it. I missed it. <sighs> oh, BMRA. I guess I have to cover some more. LPH man this thing is totally impossible to trade now it's halted to the downside again okay no no it's not halted yet but it's going to be halted like very soon <laughs> how the hell do you trade this thing there's no short to trade off there's just halts Oh, this pen is having a big move. Halted to the upside. So this thing is almost a triple from the lows. If it, if it can go to like low teens or something, that would be a very good... Um, shorting opportunity yeah i don't even want to look at uber i i guess it had a big tank right now no it didn't okay yeah, it did yeah ah it's it's too early i don't like i would have liked a bigger move higher first but nope didn't get it i had a lot of stocks on my watch list for a potential short Looks like we're not getting most of these. Wow, BMRA down 43.5%. Let's see. So spies are testing this trend line again that has been acting as a support uh, most part of the past four or five sessions.
Spies are bouncing off a very critical level. This PMRA can get unhalted so I can cover some more. Oh, it looks like it's a 10 minute halt this time. Not really finding much right now. I did another, I added a little bit to my Twix overnight here, as I think yeah, the market is uh, at a very crucial bou potential bounce point here. It's right on this lower trend line. So if it can't bounce here, uh, it's not a good thing. Other than that, I'm just try looking for opportunities, but there's just not that many things I see here. Gay codex is alerted. Interesting. Okay, BLPH looks like it's taking out house for the day. Oh no, never mind. I looked it at the wrong chart. It's right back at VWAP. And it's halted, of course. Hey, I hope this thing goes to 50 today. Why not? Why not? Oh, BMRA, it's unhalted. Let's.
cover some here. Okay, so far markets are bouncing off that key level. Good to see. BLPH has uh, started building a range here. I think that 20 is a key level. Obviously, I hope this thing goes higher, but uh, I will be interested in it soon. At the end of the day, it's up almost 600% on the day. Doesn't mean it can't go higher, but... It's all about the set risk reward. There's so many things in my in my scans. There's no no chance I can go through all of it. They all look the same. Uh, BMRA I'm covering on dips, using highs of the day as my stop on the final shares. Unfortunately, I covered up 12,000 shares just before the close because they didn't crack as much as I wanted to. That was a mistake. Oh, okay. Let's see here. BLPH. Okay, I got some BLPH here. Ah, thirds. Ah, I only got filled on some. And it's halted. <laughs> I only got filled on a third on starter size. Oh well, zoom, yeah, yep, yep. Okay, things are settling down here. Not a lot of things going on right now. Everything just looks the same. What if BLPH goes back to low teens today? That would be something.
Oh, Blue Apron. Was such an epic short opportunity opening range lows. Sometimes the best shorts are the ones that are already down 50%. AHPI gave back all of its gains. Pretty much all of these uh, Corona plays are fading. Or like the old ones at least. If we keep going today, there's uh, there's gonna be a lot of short setups for Monday. Like this pen, if this thing can get to like low teens, it, it's gonna be a triple from the lows. Hertz, nearing a double. Uh, this one is lagging. This one is nearing a double from the lows. Put some buy orders into low sevens on BMRA. Yeah, so far spies are bouncing perfectly off this level. Perfect, perfect bounce. Now, if we can reclaim this uh, declining uh, 20 period line on the 60 minute chart, that's that's when I think uh, TVIX is gonna have an insane unwind, just like yesterday. Okay, looks like BLPH opened up and got halted again. And I have no size on it, unfortunately. Such a hard trader. <laughs> How do you trade this thing? Hopefully Uber can reclaim and take out ties of the day later.
I'm gonna show you guys. I've had two one million dollar days this week. It's pretty incredible. Uh, where is it? I'm gonna show you the. I'm gonna walk through the TVIX trade from yesterday. That was something epic, epic, epic. I was up like 1.6, 1 1.5, 1 1.6 uh, at the lows on TVIX, and then it had a big bounce into the close, so I gave back a little bit of money on it. So this is by far my biggest day ever. Yep, after taking that million dollar loss over the weekend, which sucked. Yeah, two million dollar days in one week. That's... Uh, that's something new for me. I'm gonna walk through the. It, it was so obvious. Like I've been watching this TVIX for two weeks straight. It's always shown relative strength to the spies, always. But the day before yesterday, something changed. The day before yesterday, the day where it when it peaked at at 1,000. Like when this is where. TVIX peaked at a thousand and after it peaked at a thousand spice went lower but Twix didn't take out the highs for the day Twix went to 989 that's the first 997 sorry so he couldn't even take out take out the highs for the day and it got very obvious yesterday midday mid late day where TVIX started taking out ranges to the downside and building lower highs and taking out more ranges to the downside while spice went sideways like spice were in a tight range and TVIX just uh, got sold you could clearly see you could clearly see the relative weakness that was the first time in two weeks at least something that happened so I, I added I, I was short a little bit before but I added here once it broke below this five minute uh, range and I added more here and I think I even added more here I don't remember and then you know it was just a waterfall just a waterfall decline and at the lows I was up I think 1.5 1.6 and then it had a bounce into the close and a big bounce in after hours I held 3000 shares over or actually I held 2,500 shares over. I covered some after hours because I didn't want to deal with a 200 point gap up. Yeah, that was a very, very good trade. And I'm telling you guys, if this uh, spies reclaim this declining uh, 20 period moving average, this yellow line, TVIX is going to have another unwind. There's so much premium in these volatility products. There's just so much premium in these things. It's incredible. Just incredible opportunities in this market if you wait for it, if you really wait for it and act decisively when you see it. You will clearly see, you know, this 60 minute range break to the downside, boom, straight down. And I, I hear some people on Twitter say technical analysis doesn't work on these volatility products. Yes, it does. They don't trade on supply demand, but technical analysis still works. It looks exactly like the Tesla chart. Exactly like the Tesla chart. On the 60 minute chart, it just wrote this, uh, these uh, 60 minute moving averages, which it's surfing exactly the same, but faster. So technical analysis works, even if you trade something that's not working on uh, Supply and demand. Oh, BLPH had another gap down after the halt. What if it goes back to low teens? 
I needed to go back to low teens for me to make any money. I have 4,600 shares. I wanted 15,000. <sighs> Hopefully, can get back to 20 bucks so I can fill on the rest of my size. Oh, man. pen looks really good. Hopefully, it keeps going today and then gaps up to like 12, 13 on Monday. That would be great. This GSX has incredible strength, just like Zoom. But this is really not a market to buy breakouts. We could gap down 5% on Monday. Yep, the two strongest stocks in the market, or two strongest growth stocks, I would say. There are some other stocks that are strong too, but they're not really growth stocks. Okay, BMRA, looks like I'm gonna get filled on some more shares soon. Very good trade. I hope BLPH can get back to 21. I'm gonna raise my... my limit order to 21-ish. Charlie. BMRA looks like it wants to go to mid sixes today. There's no support on like mid sixes. That's another 25% lower.
so far spies have uh, spies are getting rejected on the upside Next week I would like to get one more flush in the spice. Get get it to like low low two hundreds or something. That's where we have monthly support. Like maybe like two fifteen or something, two ten area. Then we get back to twenty fourteen levels. One more flush. That would be the buying opportunity of a lifetime. Hopefully. You can clearly see the relative weakness on TVIX again. Like spies are nowhere close yesterday's highs. But TVIX is very okay. Never mind. It never mind. Never mind. I read the chart wrong. It's actually not nowhere close near uh, near yesterday's lows. Never mind. Right now it's uh, not showing relative weakness yet. Guys, what, what are you trading? What are you guys trading? I, I can't find anything except for BLPH and TVIX. Spice? Why are you trading spice? Why are you not trading... Uh, you, you're trading spice too? Why are you not trading like TQQ or something? It's uh, much more volatile. Or SPXL. Tiva and Apple. Tiva, Apple. Okay. It is SPXL. Oh yeah, it's actually not that liquid. But TQQ is a very liquid. Clovis, TNXP. Man, a lot of these stickers have nothing going for them. Space. Oh wait, TVIX is taking out lows of the day? There you go. Okay, TVX is showing some weakness compared to Spice because Spice are not taking out highs of the day, but TVX is already taking out lows of the day. Yeah, you can clearly see the weakness. Walmart T. <laughs> okay. Uber is building a in interesting little formation here with lo lo higher lows and lower highs. Getting very tight intraday. I hope for I hope this thing goes higher.
How many halts has PLPH had? One, two, three, four, five. It's on its sixth halt. Jesus Christ. Yeah, zoom. Absolutely. If Zoom goes up a little bit more and Boeing goes down a little bit more, they're gonna have the same market caps. Pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> Holy shit. This thing was at 445 like a year ago, year and a half ago. Wow. If they bail out Boeing, this thing is gonna double in a flash from these levels. But I hope it goes lower first. Yeah, exactly, like Zoom. <laughs> Zoom is almost as big as Boeing. Software is the place to be, it really is. Asset light companies, that's where you should invest. All these asset heavy companies, they're just such hard businesses. Yeah, you can clearly see the weakness on Twix. It took out lows of the day again, while spies are just going sideways. Damn, I hope... Ah, I wanted to get some on a, on a bounce on TVIX. If it bounces, I'm, I'm, I'm shorting some. It's showing such relative weakness right now. If spies go up another couple of percent, TVIX is gonna go to 400. Just unwinding right now. You can clearly see the volatility unwinding. It's, yeah. Um. Oh, come on. Bounce here. Please bounce. I want to add some. Oh, Jesus Christ, this thing is going to go to zero. Come on, Spice, can Spice pull back a little bit, please? I don't have nearly enough of TVIX right now, unfortunately. Oh my god, it's such... Oh my god. I did add a little bit uh, in the high 520s, just because, you know, took out yesterday's lows. Oh man. Oh man, I have like half of the size I would like to have. Fuck. Okay, hopefully we get a range to short. Because even yesterday there were ranges to the downside. But right now this thing is in beast mode. Total unwind. I'm telling you, if Spice go to 250 today, Twix goes to sub 400, maybe even sub 300. Look at this unwind. Spice are barely even moving higher. This thing is... 
down below yesterday's lows, far below yesterday's lows. Okay, BLPH, I have 20,000 shares now. Um, Let's see here. I'm gonna set some stops. I know it's gonna be hard. with the halts, but okay, I got stopped out of half. It's just way too strong. It looks like it wants to go to 30. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't go straight down. I want a little bit of a range to short against. the market back to normal health but this is normal <laughs> markets are never on the normal but yeah the f most of the fear is going is, is fading away as the markets are not going straight down anymore yeah but you have to remember a lot of it's already priced in like the spice are down 33% were down 33 32% from the highs in just a month a lot of shit is already priced in and we already know more states will be issuing lockdowns like we already know these things we know there's going to be more cases we know tens of thousands probably hundreds of thousands old people will die in in, in the US like we already know these things there's these, they are not surprises a lot of this is already priced in And yeah, sure, I, I think, you know, if the markets bounce here, we, we could take out the lows maybe next week or the week after that or the week after that, have another flush, absolutely. But right now, I think there's a good chance we will have at least a little bit of a bounce. I don't think we're going to go straight down from here. And that's what Twix is pricing in too, all these volatility products. That's why they are just fading away because a lot of the short-term fear is going away all right so tvx is bouncing here let's see if we can get a, a range later to short against oh man if this spice can bounce to 250 or Maybe even low 250s today. That would be super epic. Twix is gonna go to 300. I am ready.
What's BMRA doing? Is it bouncing here? Nope. Building lower high still. BLPH, is it halted? Yeah, it's halted again, right? No, it's not. Interesting. I just added back a little bit of BLPH and I'm gonna lower my stop on it too. It looks like it's struggling here at VWAP. <laughs> at least for now. Pen is acting really well. It's gonna be a big short opportunity on it later today or on Monday. I'm gonna add more TVIX through the lows using gonna use a tight stop. Oh Tilray. Gonna sell some more into strength. Oh yeah, TVIX. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can have another million dollar day today. I still don't have as much size as I would like to because just going straight down and I want to I don't want to chase these kinds of moves, but oh boy. Yeah, don't mess around with spice. There's no range there. Spice should really never be traded. This is called backside. 
This is what happens on backside. This is what happens on backside. Bad things happen on backside. Bad, bad things happen on backside. Unless you're short. Let's see here, spies are pulling back a little bit. Let's see if TVIX can keep on with the relative weakness. If we can keep up the relative weakness. Oh yeah, BLPH, I... right now it got rejected off VWAP and it's building lower highs, it's been building lower highs the whole day. Let's see, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing goes back to low teens by Monday, if not today. If this, if, if the market can sustain this bounce into Monday, there's going to be so many epic, epic shorting opportunities. A lot of stocks are having 50, 100%, 200% bounces right into declining uh, supply. Well, pretty much my whole watch list. Let's start from the highs. Pen into the declining 10 day. ERI also nearing the declining 10 day. Hertz, UAL, OK, MAR, when you get the point. 
Lulu is already there, but uh, I think the trade will be on Monday. There's hundreds of them, literally hundreds. Spice are gaining some steam here. Twix is about to take out the lose of the day again, potentially. Yeah, I'm gonna short many of these things. Uber looks like he wants to go higher. I would love to see this thing in the mid-high 20s by Monday or Tuesday or something. There's, there's some pretty big opportunity setting up here. What I don't like on BLPH is also building higher lows. Hmm. I'm having very tight stops on my Twix ads. Tilray. This Tilray, oh man, what if it goes like six, seven bucks? Woo my stop a little bit on it too. I'm gonna raise my stop to break even. So it's a free trade now. First target is like low fives, low mid fives on this steel array. I didn't realize this thing was down almost 90% in a month. Then as someone mentioned it on Twitter, I looked up a chart, I'm like holy shit this thing could Double, triple. Yeah, probably is. I see some people are starting to pump these uh, Mariana stocks, like Med Men, etc. These guys are bank. These these things are most of them are gonna go bankrupt. 
the economics are not there. There's a short-term spike in orders and stuff like that, but you know, things are gonna go back to normal and then these things are gonna go bankrupt. Except maybe CGC and Cron. Because they have uh, like big partnerships with big, big companies. Yeah, CGC is a partnership with Constellation Brands and Cron is in a partnership with... Or maybe it's not Chrome. What's the other one? CGC, uh, ACB, ACB. That's the one. Uh, what's the other one that's in a big partnership? I don't even remember. APHA, maybe. Whatever, I have a too bad of a memory. Altria. Uh, oh, Cron, Altria. Okay, so it was Cron. I was trying to read all these old notes. I didn't see it. Yeah, exactly. So these ones are probably not going to go. Yeah, here it is. Here is MO. Yeah, yeah. But someone was pumping this med men, which is like it's you, you know you, there's no volume here, there's nothing here. This is a, probably gonna go bankrupt. All right, let's see here how uh, TLRY is handling uh, handling this uh, how TVIX is handling this sell off in the spies. Right now, Tilray still uh, sorry, TVIX is still showing disconnect from the. Yep, you can clearly see this thing. Spy had a flush, but TVIX is still building lower highs on the one minute chart. This thing it goes through lows of the day again. I'll, I'll add more. <sighs> I'll add more. Oh yeah, Tilray. Gonna put some more cell orders in. Oh yeah, Tesla is also going to be a short watch into Monday. Tesla and Uber probably going to be my main ones because these are high priced and very liquid. BLPH, I just size down a little bit. <clears throat> or I thought so. Oh man. 
I only got filled partial. Ah, it got halted as my as my order uh, filled. That sucks. Now I have to wait for it to open. Heck, the higher it goes, the better. Tilray, I bought it yesterday, 332. When it took out this um, um, highs of the day. So I anticipated the breakout a little bit because it was building higher lows. It's just coming off the, you can clearly see, you know, it was down 90%. Just pure mathematics, you know, with these type of setups. And it was big volume coming in yesterday, and when it took out the highs of the day, or even before that, I bought it because it was building higher lows. And this thing could go even higher. It could go to six bucks, and it would still be down like 70%. That's that's great. You get some enormous opportunities when there's panic, mass liquidation. Some enormous opportunities if you can preserve cash before it happens. Now I have to be quick on the BLPH halt as soon as it unhalts. If it's higher, I have to cover. So how fast, or let's see, it's been five minutes halts, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So now it's one, two, three, in a couple of minutes. I'm gonna check on the NASDAQ website, exact time. Ten, fifth. No. Oh, resumption quote time. Doesn't say resumption tree. Holy shit, there's so many halts. I've never seen so many halts on the last Nasdaq uh, webpage. Holy shit. Really? There's literally been over a several hundred halts just today. Wow. Okay, Tilray through the low, not Tilray, TVIX through the lows of the day. I will add more. This pen is just straight up. All the funds that panicked and sold at the lows, and now this thing is bouncing. Incredible bounce. Nearing 200% off the lows. If it gets to like mid high 12s today, I may short it today, but I, I hope we get the setup on Monday. PBF, another halt. Okay, let's do this until on TVIX.
Okay, PLPH has got unhalted. It's not going higher for now. Okay. Okay, I'm all out PLPH. I lost 63k on it. Uh, it feels like it wants to go higher. I really want this thing to go to 30 plus. Because now it has reclaimed VWAP. And I don't like that. It's been building higher lows. Reclaiming VWAP. Let's get this thing higher. TBIX, holy shit, what if it goes to sub 400 today? Oh my god, I'm gonna have another million dollar day, come on. Holy shit. This is what a premium unwind looks like. This is what happens when premium leaves these volatility products. This is what happens. This is what happens. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah i don't have as much size as i had yesterday but uh, i have enough size it goes down another hundred bucks i will have another million dollar day let's just say let's just say that that would be that would be epic come on it's right on the rising 10 day. Not that it matters, but. Okay, Uber, hopefully this thing goes to mid-high 20s today. Yes, it is. That's one of the hardest things ever. It's very, very hard. But when you have conviction, it's much easier. Like the spies don't even have to do anything. They don't even, they can go sideways here in the 243, 20, 243 area for the rest of the day. And this TVI exclusive go down another hundred bucks. So unwind mode is on so hard right now. We don't even have to bounce a lot in the indices. This is what happens when uh, premium leaves. This has been building premium for for a long, long time. And you know, I've been I've been following the TVIX ticker on uh, on uh, Twitter for the past couple of days, and there are just so many people are gonna get absolutely shelled on this thing. There's literally one guy an hour, a couple of hours ago who said he's going to average down on this thing. 
as it falls. Like, this guy is gonna get... Ap he's, he's gonna blow up, probably. There was so much money to be made on the long side past month, and now all these guys are gonna give it all back and more. They have no idea what the hell they're doing. No idea. Or maybe they do, I don't know. What I have noticed is a lot of stocks have found uh, support near near the near some key moving averages. Like AMD is one of my favorites. This thing has been bouncing off the 200 day for years now, and it did it again. It undercut it slightly and found support and uh, yeah, I think in a couple of weeks when the dust is settled a bit more hopefully, there's gonna be some insane opportunities on the long side. Oh, BLPH, it shook me out. No! Oh, for fuck's sake, it shook me out. Oh, now I have to wait for uh, Pops again to get in. Fucking stock. Is it halted? Again? Yeah, I don't think, even if we have an undercut of these recent lows, I don't think Twix will get back to the highs. Because the big fear mode is, uh, is has left the building. Like, we already have a template for how things will play out. From the countries that are ahead, ahead of the US. Let's see how the how TVIX handles this little pullback in the spies. Uh, we're still building lower highs on the 60 minute chart. Which isn't great, but uh,
Shiny CTF, Seen, K Web, yeah, uh, yeah, probably. Like China stocks are among the strongest. China internets are among the strongest stocks right now. Very strong group. I, I think could be good. But too, it's too early. It's probably going to take at least a few weeks before we start uh, before the dust starts settling. I added back some BLPH. I can't stay away from it. It's intriguing. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. That's what stops are for. Yep, absolutely. But it could also be sub 15. So, you know, and I have more confidence in shorting it uh, than buying it because it's already up 550%. But yeah, it could go to 50. Absolutely. Yeah. And if it does, there's going to be there's going to be some epic opportunity on it, uh, you know, later today or on Monday or Tuesday. But yeah, I, I got back, I started on it again. Oh, SBCE is up 50%, 56% from the lows. Maybe this thing, if it goes back to high teens, going to be some nice shorting opportunity there. BA is starting to, uh, I'm going to pass on it. All right, I'm going to cut the stream. There is really, you know my place. Um, I am not going to trade us a lot today, probably. 
mostly gonna focus on TVIX. Looks like it's about to take out lows of the day again. I don't know if I'm gonna add this time or not, because now I have from pretty decent size. And I don't wanna get my average too low, but you never know. This thing, like, it looks like the spies could, if the spies have a big rip, holy shit. Like, there's an air pocket here from uh, mid 200s to, like, say 247 to 256 or something like that. 257. It's a big air pocket. Okay. Yeah, thanks, guys. I hope you had a great trading week. And if not, I hope you have a great trading week next week. And have a great weekend. Thanks all. See you on Monday.